We've all heard of the KISS method, right? And golf needs more of the KISS method because by nature, golfers, instructors, the industry, we overcomplicate the game. Today, I'm going to simplify the game for you and help you understand how you can fix your slice. I'm PJ Teacher Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And I can promise you this, this is, this is going to be my favorite video because one of the things that I hear the most from you out there, our subscribers, our people who love golf just like we do, is you say, Todd, Nick, team, I love the fact that you guys keep things simple. And I could not agree more. So today I'm going to give you the most simple concept that can help you get the most out of your practice session. So let's dive right into it. Now today I'm focusing on the slice. And I'm going to do other videos on the same concept that might help you learn to draw the golf ball, uh, all types of things. But today we're focusing on what happens if you slice a golf ball. So I've got a golf ball set up right here and I've got my vertical line board. I've got everything all set up. The ball just sits right there. So all I'm doing right here is I'm creating a visual with the two blue tees in the holes right there of where I want the golf club to travel, right? So let me, I'm just gonna make a practice swing. We're gonna talk about this, how you can do this on your own. So I've got this set up right here. I see a lot of golfers do this on the driving range with alignment rods and tees and all kinds of type, types of stuff. But basically, I've got these two blue tees here that create a pathway, let's call it, right? And I'm just gonna make little swings. And all I'm feeling, notice the word feeling there, is just the club traveling between those two blue spots, okay? Right along the blue line and between the two blue tees. Now, the key here is that when you're doing that, I'm not thinking about how I'm doing it, I'm just doing it, right? What do most of us do when we play golf? Matter of fact, put that in the comments. What are some of the suggestions or tips that you've been given to fix your slice that haven't worked? It just made it more complicated. Throw those in there because we're gonna dispel some of those things and you might be able to actually help some of our other fellow golfers. So, all I'm doing is I'm just creating a pathway of where I want the club to swing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a little longer swing. Okay, so now I've got the feel. All right, keeping it simple. I'm gonna put a ball right there. I'm just gonna swing. All I'm gonna swing and I'm gonna visualize that club going through the two blue tees. Okay? how simple it was, all right? Let's do it again. It's one of the things I love about the vertical line board, that I don't have to move, I just set up. <laughs> if I'm just on a regular driving range, I gotta move, I gotta move the tees around, I'm, I spent half my dang practice time moving around. So with the board, I can just, boom, put the ball right in there. So here we go. I've got the burial right there. There it is again, that one even felt better. So this video, it's short and sweet because the tip is short and sweet. Don't overcomplicate the golf game. Keep it simple, create a visual of where you want the club to travel, and just get the club to go through there. Don't think about how to do it, just go ahead and do it.